What's up, PSGN family? It's your boy PSGN here, and today we're here for the tactical analytical review of Paris Saint Germain versus Juventus in the UEFA Champions League, finishing 2 1 Paris Saint Germain. So, we'll go through the good, the bad, and the beautiful slash ugly from this game. I've also added camera to these kinds of games. Make sure to comment down below what you think of it and if I should continue with it. So, First thing here is a 1-2 Neymar to Mendes and my problem here is yeah again who is in that space because I don't blame Neymar here he made the pass he's supposed to be staying there on the left but Messi and Mbappe why are you there like what can we really do do you expect Nuno to pass it there when you could have run into that space there in front of the box please I've talked about this problem enough it has improved but this here could have been a great chance Next up, Donnarumma here. I like the confidence. Confidence, confidence, baby. He's improving confidence all the time. And we can see it clearly here because he wants to start the counter-attack as soon as possible. Yeah, again here. Could have been a Dona Bozo moment. If you remember against Montpellier, he had a similar chance like this and passed the ball to the opposition's attacker. Whilst here, he gave a great pass to Hakimi. Let's go, Dona. And this, this is called Neibape Magico. Mbappe Magico, Mbappe, Neymar, Neymar, Mbappe, Paris Saint-Germain 1-0 after just 5 minutes of this game, I mean you can't really take anything tactically from this because like what is this, 6 players are surrounding them and Neymar just lobs over everyone and Mbappe finishes off beautifully, Ale Paris, Galtier happy as he should be, this one could have been the second goal after only eight minutes. Marquinhos with amazing long pass. Applauses to Marquis de Capitan. But Mbappe scuffed it. Should have done better. Maybe taking a touch. Maybe, I don't know, try to be more precise. But I love the chance creation. Mbappe, you have to do better. Next up here, Juventus. I mean, they tried to press high. I mean, they're not as good as the Bayerns and the Cities and Liverpool. But we still played out of the back without any pressure at all. Love it from Bay. And our pressure during moments of the game, really good. Because when we make the defenders go long in the opposition's team, we usually get the ball back because we're so dominantly aerial winning defenders. Did not like this pass. I did not like this pass. Danilo should not be getting the ball to Milik, I think. Yeah, he should not be getting the ball to Milik in that space. Definitely not. Paris Saint-Germain should not let this happen. So, Messi to pressure Danilo, Vitina to cut off the passing line, and Verratti to be on uh, Jovic in this, uh, Milik in this situation. We have to do better. One thing I notice is, when our midfielders have the ball, and the opposition come in to press and defend, what we do instead of dribbling or making an offensive pass or back to Vitinha, they just pass it back so we keep possession. Le Paris, we're trying to become more of a possession wise team this season and it's already looking good. Vitinha, one thing I loved from him yesterday was that every time Juventus had a counter-attack, what he did, he wanted to run as fast as possible and then just blocking off the attacker. Not winning the ball back, but just not letting the counter-attack happen. Amazing from Vitinha. Right here, Vlahovic, I mean, he was bullied this game, bullied. We can see Verratti here doing beautifully getting the ball off Vlahovic. Marquinhos right behind him as well. I like this, I saw it often, so when the ball was pressured on the left side, usually we would give it to Neymar here or maybe back to Verratti, or he gave it to Mbappe making a run there from his striker position, and he did beautifully here, Bonucci was gone, but Paredes made a nice tackle to intercept the ball, but I love this, and we will see more of it. Right here, the first chance for Juventus in the 18th minute, the Milik header. Uh, for me, the problem here is not Ramos, I mean it's very hard to win aerial duels usually especially against strikers like this who that's their biggest power that's their, their biggest asset for me quadrado here needs to be stopped from the beginning the cross should not be coming in. nuno mendes has to pressure him i understand that rabiot behind him verati should have maybe been closer on rabiot so mendes should have been more safe and secure on going on quadrado but mendes here should definitely have gone on to juan quadrado but nice save from dunaroma Right here, yeah, again, as I talked about, Nuno Mendes putting in a ball right to Mbappe. Mbappe, nice one two with Neymar. Bremer was a bit too quick there, but this is something that we should be using against the big teams that play a high line. This would be very dangerous because one pass from Nuno, a quick one two from Neymar and Mbappe, and a goal. That would be scary. 
and Galtier taking notes during this game because he knows there's stuff to improve, there's knows there's stuff to hail, but Galtier is not in the moment, he's in the game. Right here, um, Vitinha, great. As I said before, when they got pressured, they just pass it back to defenders so we keep the ball. Yeah, again, here's the second goal. Alepay, Alepay, Alepay. Hakimi to Verratti. Verratti, just an easy ball defend. Danilo is gone. And uh, yeah, then it's, this is Paris Saint-Germain. Quick one to Mbappe, Hakimi, Mbappe, Alepay. 2-0 after all, just 21 minutes in our first Champions League encounter this season. Dona Kebab was happy. Galtier was happy. And even his dad was happy. But Ethan Mbappe, not satisfied. Not satisfied. But great from killing Mbappe. Here was the tackle from Bremer on Mbappe, which no one liked. But there was a brawl after. But one thing I noticed is Ramos is pointing to Vitinha. Ramos is not starting this brawl because of the tackle from Bremer on Mbappe. It's something that Paredes did. And I went through it, it went to, it looked like when Verratti, uh, when Mbappe got tackled, the referee didn't blow directly. Vitinha had the ball, Miretti went on and challenged and tackled him and won the ball. Not won the ball, but tackled him, fouled him. And, but Paredes made a gesture to go and tackle him. And uh, Ramos saw that and was mad. I love it from Ramos defending, but then I love this. The mutual respect between the two managers, showing that Galtier, he respects Alec. He's not here to fight. He's here to respect. Yeah, again here, great pass by Hakimi. Gives it to Mbappe on the wing. Mbappe somehow finds it to Messi. This is Messi's trademark finish. Lionel Messi, you should be taking the shot here. He passed it to Vitina and Vitina tried to take a long shot. But Lionel Messi, Andreas Messi, you have to take the shot here. You know you can do better. Come on, Leo. Right here, Marquinhos, as I said. Bomba, winning the header there, beautifully. Quick one to between Mbappe and Nuno. But yeah, again, to who? Who is there? Who is there? Neymar, if Mbappe is on your side or more on this left side, try to make that run inside or something. Neymar here just fighting, doing everything to get that ball because he wanted to score it. Mbappe here showing Galte that he had a little bit of um, pain in uh, his ankle after that tackle from Bremer. I love this. Why? Because Vlahovic dropped extremely deep into his own half to get the ball back. But Kimpembe followed. What a man. What a man. Kimpembe as well here, moving up the ball. I love to see it. I want this from Kimpembe all the time. Our center backs have to be part of the game. Neymar here made the referee blow his whistle because he ran into the box trying to press too early. That's just That just sums up Neymar this season as a presser. Neymar here beautifully on Bremer with the body feint, but Miretti makes a disgusting tackle. Yellow card. Nuno here. Quadrado, no chance, and gives it to Neymar. This is beautiful, right when the second half starts, exactly when we need to create a chance. Neymar needs to do better there. Verratti, Neymar win the ball up back, really high up the pitch. But then, I don't know what we're trying to do here. Pass it into the goal. Listen, when you're outside the box, pass. When you're inside the box, you shoot. That's football. Shoot him. Yeah, again, Vitinha doing, as well as I said, stopping this counter-attack on Milik, just pulling him, being right in front of him. But here's the chance of the game that most people were talking about. Kylian Mbappé with the ball from Messi. Neymar's there, Neymar's there. Mbappé shoots it on the net. This is not acceptable, Kylian Mbappé. This is not acceptable. You should pass it to Neymar, and you should be doing better from your shot. If you're taking that shot, score it. I have no problem. If you're not passing it, that's a problem. Vitinha here, great interception. Ramos here not letting the cross come in beautifully. But here's the goal, and I blame this on Dona Kebab, of course. Dona Roma, I think he was 50 50. He was 50% in the beginning. He was like, all right, I'm running out. But then when he was halfway there, he was like, no, let me go inside. And then you are in a situation where you, you, you have not gone out, and you're not in the in, in the goal which makes the goal empty and which makes McKinney easy to head the ball scores a goal if Donnarumma wasn't the goal he would have said that if Donnarumma kept on making his run he would have cleared that ball away Donna come on come on got there not impressed disappointed right here great from Paris Saint-Germain straight off to the Juventus goal and Mbappe puts in a beautiful cross Hakimi nearly latches onto it where well, we can see it right here Great press 
Mbappe, Neymar, everyone is on there, man. But yeah, again here, dangerous chance for Juventus, and he all comes in. Yeah, again from Cuadrado's cross. Nuno Mendes, don't let him cross, please. I know he blocked it, but it's still good. Vlaovic here, heads it towards the goal, but Donnarumma makes a very good save. Ale Dona, Marquinhos Donnarumma, fighting spirit this game. Marquinhos here, yet yeah, again, pocketing Mr. Vlahovic. Verratti just being Verratti. Marco, Marco, Marco. Dribbling past two players in no space. Yeah, again, doubling up from Paris Saint-Germain. Both Team Pembe and Verratti on McKinney here. Bullying him. Marquinhos here making a good run. Passing it to Mbappe. Sadly, nothing came from this chance. But I love it for Marquinhos. Mbappe here, I don't know what you're doing. Should be shooting it better or at least taking a, a touch there. Because no one was really, really on him. Yeah, again, high press here by Paris Saint-Germain. Vitinha wins the ball back high up. And here we win it yet yeah, again. Vitinha had an amazing performance yesterday. But here we had the chance. I said, I defended Messi a lot during the post-match podcast. And that was because Messi didn't get the ball in the area where he wants the ball. Yes, the argument of he could have adapted. He could have been in other places. That's very true. But that's not his prowess. That's not his best. But he got the ball once and created one big chance. That's messy for you. Verratti to Neymar. Very, very similar to the goal we scored against to lose Neymar's goal to Messi, to Mbappe. Mbappe dragging the shot off wide. Should be doing here better. Should be doing there better. Mbappe. Vitania. Verratti. Vitania took off the yellow cards in the beginning, but Verratti is getting back to getting yellow cards. I think he got one in the last game, and now he got his first yellow card in the Champions League. Ramos here. Not letting the cross come in. This is what I'm talking about. Great from Ramos. Messi here finally doing what he should have done before. Shot off wide. Aleleo. Messi here just wanted the ball. That's why I say. About the language of this. People are overdraft. People are overreacting. Messi had an unbelievable performance. No, sorry. An unbelievable performance. But a good performance, I would say. Yeah, again, high pressing. Goalkeeper goes on. We win it. And here it should have been a free kick. Paredes stamping here on Vitinha's boots, taking them off. Right here, great from Verratti with these lob passes. We've seen it throughout the entire Paris Saint-Germain season. Gives it to Nuno. Nuno tries to fight Messi as he always does. A bit off. Look at him, the great interception. Nuno Mendes wins the ball back high. Gives it to Messi. Messi shoots straight to the goalkeeper. Nice try, Leo. Love this from Duna. Come on. Mr. Batman. Mr. Superman. Mukiele with a bozo moment. Ball is not cleared. We need to clear these balls. We need to do that. Please, Barry. Please, Ale. Donnarumma with a great save as well. Donnarumma had a really good performance today. Marquinhos pocketing Vlaovic. So easy for him. And Rabiot getting booed off the, the field. I love it. I love it. Renato here winning the ball. Progressing. No problem. Neymar here shoots it straight at the goalkeeper. Should have done better. Should have done better, but it was a, it was an immense shot. It was an amazing shot. Goalkeeper, nice save. But I have one problem with this counter-attack. I know it's the 90th minute. And Mbappe is probably a bit tired. Because of all the running the entire game. Plus this injury. But I always want Mbappe to run into that space. We do this a lot in Ligue 1. But Mbappe got the ball later. But yeah, again, not the best shot. But that was it for the tactical. Analytical. A review of Paris Saint-Germain versus Juventus. Make sure to like this video if you want to support the PSG into YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to the PSG into YouTube channel. And turn on notifications if you don't ever want to miss any kind of videos like this. And now as always, allez, 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 Paris.